Hello, there's a rule that everyone should know. I don't care what your occupation is. It is called the rule of 72. Here's why it's so wonderful. I've got two questions on my Excel file here listed. It says, if I invest $1,000 at 8% annual interest, when will my money double? The answer is nine years. Question two, a city's population is 25,000. Annual growth is 6%. When will the population be 50,000? The answer is 12. Did that in my head because of the rule of 72. Basically, because of compounding, you take the number 72 and you divide by the interest rate. So let's take a look at this first question. So I'll show you how to do it just in your head. Then I'll show you how to do it in Excel with some formulas. <clears throat> The rule of 72 is to take the number 72, take your interest rate, which is 0 0.08 for that first question, but just make it the number eight. Simply take the 72 and divide by the number eight, nine years to double your money. It doesn't matter whether it's $1,000 or $15,000, nine years. If the interest rate was 6%, it'd be 12 years. If the interest rate was 14%, it would be 5.14 years. And you, I would just say five in my head. So here we go, let's test it. I'm gonna go back to the 8% interest rate. The rule of 72 says nine years to double the money. Let's test it in Excel. A1 will be empty. A2 is going to be the word start. I'm going to put uh, number. So it doesn't necessarily have to be an investment because I'll do that with the second question. There's $1,000. The interest rate, uh, 0.08. We'll make it look like a percentage. Here's your formula. I tell, let me get the years in here. So over here, 72 divided by eight is nine years. I'm gonna hold down control, auto fill, and stop at nine. I should end up with the number 2000 in cell B11 when I'm done with this. So it's gonna be equals 1000 plus B2 times D2. In my head, 8%, 1,000 should be 1,080. Perfect. I'm going to edit the formula up in the formula bar. I need to make D2 absolute cell reference, F4 function key. Here we go. By the way, compounding interest is absolutely wonderful because I got $80 in interest the first year. The second year is going to be more than 80 because I'm getting... $80 for the 1,000 plus 8% of the 80 that I just made. So there's your two. That's close enough to 2,000 for me right there. 1999.0046. That is the rule of 72. So somebody said, I want to double 1,000 bucks. I'm going to earn 8%. And you say, hey, it'll take you nine years to double it. Question two, I went the other way with it. 25,000, actually I went the same way, but it doesn't always have to be an investment. Population is 25,000, the city's growing really fast. They say, city council says, we had a 6% annual growth rate. So you say 72 divided by the number six is 12. So in 12 years, it'll be 50,000. Let's test that one, 25,000. 6%, add on a few more years here because I said 72 divided by six will be 12 years. Close enough, 50,304, there's year 12. Actually, you know what, let me try that again. Yes, there you go. Pretty cool, huh? If you get stuck, I will put this in my, I will put this in the description of my YouTube video. There is a website 
that basically has the rule 72 calculator. And it's pretty cool because what it's saying is, okay, 8%, I just told you 9, 72 divided by 8 again, it'll actually tell you the exact answer. The real answer is 9.01. So back on that 6%, it's 11.9, .9, and I did 12 years. That's why I am slightly off right there. So that's really 11.9 years. It would have given us 50,000. So I'll put this calculator, and then it's basically saying the same thing I said. You can go the other way. How many years? Six years. 72 divided by 6 should be a 12%. And the exact answer is 12.25, but close enough. That's why the rule 72 is so cool. So now that we're in Excel, let's do a few Excel functions. If you don't like everything I did in A and B, I'm going to go back to my $1,000 at 8%. So nine years doubled. The function for that is the future value function equals FV. One, I'm counting the arguments, rate, NPER, PMT, those are the only three that are required. The other two, PV and type, are not required. They're optional. What's my interest rate? D2, comma, number of periods. It's going to be 9, comma, payment. I'm not making a payment every month or every year. I'm just making one lump sum payment. What was that payment? It was, notice I put it in as a negative because that's a thousand dollars that I put up. It came out of my pocket. There's your answer right there. Look at that. So that formula right there, D2, the interest rate, nine years, B2. If you decide you want to go the other way, Think about this one. That formula would be equals NPER. Basically, how long, how many periods will it take? Let's see what this does. Interest rate, D2, payment, nothing. Present value will be negative 25,000, comma, this one I do need. What future value? I'm trying to figure out when $25,000 doubles. I'm hoping I get 12, by the way, or near 12. There you go. 11.89 years. So that is correct. So there's two functions for you. Future value, NPER. There's also how you do it, but most importantly, make sure you know the rule of 72. You'll need it the rest of your life. Feel free to subscribe. Have a great day.